Hello again, folks. Welcome back to World War II TV. And we are in our penultimate Italy in World War II show. And we are off to the Eastern Front for a uh, battle that was happening, well, 80 years ago this month, essentially. So that's what we're off to. Um, and uh, as we always have found out this week and in our France at World, in World War II week, there are people on the sidebar saying, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And I'm sure there are some people who didn't even know the Italians were particularly involved in the Eastern Front. Well, they were, as were Romanian troops, as were other people as well. So we're going to be talking about that today. My guest, Andrea Santangelo, is an archaeologist and historian, uh, a prolific author, loads of books, but unfortunately only available in Italian. So we are hoping desperately that someone from an English language publisher is watching today and will say that guy needs to have his books in English. And if that happens, then our work here is done. But without further ado, I'm going to introduce my guest. So good evening, Andrea. How are you today? Uh, hi, Paul. Hi, hi, uh, everyone. Uh, yes, uh, you you made me laughing with this directly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, let's let's hope. But I I ask the same question to everybody who 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 is new to my show. Um, where did your, did your interest in the Second World War begin? Was it as a kid? Was it in education? Tell tell me your your, your background. Okay, no, I start uh, when I was very very young, uh, around uh, uh, twelve years old, uh, and um, because my my father say he give to, he give me um, some money, and uh, he say go inside that bookshop and uh, buy whatever you want. And uh, uh, my first book was uh, a book about uh, um, the day, uh, the day landings. Uh, so uh, from this moment, I start to, to read uh, uh, a lot of books about uh, military history uh, from, from of every era, of every period. Uh, uh, because uh, I am an archaeologist and I am graduated in uh, uh, prehistoric uh, uh, archaeology, uh, so I um, I'm interested also in the war and the, the the first phase of the war from uh, uh, Paleolithic uh, to <laughs> 21 uh, one century uh, <laughs> and, and go on. <laughs> well, it's a uh... And in Italy, let's be honest, you have a lot of history there. I mean, we have a lot of history in France, <laughs> but for our American viewers watching, you know, whose wars go back, you know, 300 years, your wars go back, you know, <laughs> 2000, essentially. So uh, um, a lot of history there. But we are obviously focusing on World War II today. So as all my guests, you've come armed with a PowerPoint and we are off to the Christmas battle. Now, in fact, they're, they're, the Italians were involved in various battles in the winter, but we're going to focus on this one today. And just another quick question for you, Andrea. When I um, put out that I wanted guests for Italy in World War II week, as you said, you, you study a, a whole lot of aspects of, of, of World War II. What made you pick this one? Was it because of the time of year or was it because you felt it was a battle that needed to be um, to be talked about? Uh, I'll be honest. I um, I'm start to study about the the the, the xir because in Italy uh, it sounds uh, xir. Uh, in English it uh, sounds like uh, CSIR, and uh, um, in Italy uh, it sounds too much the like TV series CSI <laughs> plus R at the final. And so I I I will talk about uh, xir. Um, the Xir, because the, the 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 officer in charge of the, the Xir was uh, the Army Corps uh, Giovanni Messe, and he is one of my favorite characters of uh, any time. Uh, one of my dreams is to, to write a book about uh, Giovanni Messe. So wow. uh, my interest was uh, principally about uh, the commander of the Xir, and then on the, on on, on the old Xir. And just if you're talking about writing about this battle, obviously, as an Italian, it's perhaps easier to find archives about the Italian army in North Africa and particularly perhaps the Italian Navy in the Mediterranean. But how difficult is it finding information about the Italian army on the Eastern Front? Because you're going to have to presumably use use Russian archives as well and German archives to, 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 to understand the movements. Is there lots of information out there, or is it is it a process of just trying to work with a limited amount? A limited amount, uh, yeah, yeah. Because um, uh, the Xir uh, was uh, involved in uh, Eastern Front from uh, uh, 
uh, August 1941 uh, until uh, uh, the, the, the the summer of 1942. Uh, after uh, this date, uh, there uh, uh, there was the Armir, uh, the eight Ar Italian Eighth Army, uh, where there is a lot of uh, bibliography about because there was the terrific uh, retreat from. Uh, the area of Stalingrad, of uh, so uh, we have a, a huge amount of uh, literature about uh, the, the the eight Italian army, the Armir, and not so m much about uh, the the Dexir. Uh, uh, um, uh, did fight against uh, uh, so Soviet Soviet troops uh, when uh, he was in a phase of uh, uh, completely reorganization. Uh, so there was not so much archives, not so much data about uh, this kind uh, of uh, the division, as this kind of troop. And uh, when uh, the, the, the Christmas battle uh, uh, started, uh, the, the, the staff, the, the general command in Moscow, uh, the high command, uh, the Soviet high command, uh, the staff uh, erased the, uh, the uh, army corps level uh, because uh, uh, there weren't uh, enough uh, army corps general uh, uh, because of the the purge in uh, before the, the immediately before the, the second world war right. but because uh, uh, the, the terrific losses in the in the summer of the 1941 when uh, soviet troops uh, losses uh, did loss uh, uh, almost uh, 100 divisions um, so uh, one of the the, the, the primary uh, reorganization of the the, the Stavka was to erase the army the army corps level. Uh, army uh, the, did control uh, directly uh, directly in, um, div nine division and and the service and and the artillery and the, and the other branch of the, of an, an army needs. Um, so uh, is a is a, is a strange period because uh, there also uh, Russian military historians uh, have known so much uh, to, to to write about this period because it was an uncertain uh, uh, period. Was uh, uh, they were uh, testing and trying a new 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 type of uh, uh, warfare, and uh, so the um, the. It was only in 1942 uh, when uh, they they repristinated the, the the army corps level and the, and they they, they, they they try new a new role for the army for uh, the, the cavalry and infantry division uh, when uh, when it broke out the, the battle of uh, Stalingrad uh, right so we've so, got on screen now this there's, there's two slides and this is as you call it here, the Italian Expeditionary Corps into Russia. So for those who have no idea, uh, and I'm going to kind of include myself in this, about just the enormity of the Italian force that joined up. We're talking about Operation Barbarossa. We're talking about the Italians joining that. Um, whose idea was it for the Italians to join this? Did the Italians press Germany to be involved in this, or did Hitler ask the Italians to provide troops for it, or was it, was it a combination of both? No, 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 at all. Uh, uh, Mussolini was very. Um, um, he want uh, absolutely to 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 participate in uh, in the, the Barbarossa operation, but uh, um, unlucky for him, uh, Hitler uh, no, no, not so so glad to to have uh, Italian troops in the Barbarossa operation. Because um, Hitler uh, did think that uh, uh, all the Italian effort, military effort was to focus it in uh, North Africa, uh, yeah. the theater. Uh, and um, the poor uh, uh, effect, in ineffectiveness that uh, in military, the Italian military uh, showed in, in the Balkans uh, uh, did uh, fear uh, the, the German army and the German commanders. So um, Mussolini had to write uh, three, three times to Hitler to obtain uh, the, 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 the OK the, to, to, to... Yeah, the permission to join in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the permission to, to, to join the, 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 the Barbarossa operation. 
um, but uh, uh, at last he, he, in, in his uh, final letter he, he said that the, the Italian expeditionary force will perform uh, well against Bolsheviks because the fascism starts in Italy and uh, so uh, we have the, the the aim to destroy the, the Bolsheviks in, uh, in their homeland uh, in, in, in a similar uh, um, feelings uh, Mussolini did persuade Hitler to to, to, to permit the, 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 the creation of the Xir um, but um, uh, soon started the problems because uh, we have uh, we are we, are, uh, we have uh, a very weak uh, military instrument uh, uh, with uh, a lot of uh, problems a lot of limits and um, one of the the the, the limits was the um, the movement of of the troops was the movable uh, of, of, of of the army because uh, we have uh, no uh, not so much uh, trucks we have not so much uh, uh, bike we have not so much uh, uh, tanks and and so uh, mussolini uh, decided to uh, deploy uh, two um, auto transportable uh, divisions that uh, means in english it means a wannabe um, a wannabe uh, mobile division <laughs> a wannabe motorized division <laughs> because uh, there were pasubio and the torino division were uh, two division uh, with the only artillery regiment uh, motorized uh, all the other branch of the division, uh, engineer, uh, service, uh, uh, and infantry, uh, they, they go walking. Uh, yeah. We're, we're regular infantry. I mean, Mer Merko talked about this on yesterday's show about the armor doctrine is that it, there's not quite a direct translation, but you're sort of a, a motorized, motorized division. Yes. But it's more on paper than it is in reality because of a distinct lack of vehicles. And we can see on this list of units that you provided us that you know we're talking you know horse, horse drawn artillery we're talking a, a distinct lack of of modernization the tanks are, are light um but it nevertheless in total what size force are we talking about and how the italian troops is a very it's a broad generalization but what kind of motivation are the italians going in there with are they highly motivated you say that mussolini wants this to be he wants to be part of barbarossa but what about the men in these divisions are are, are they seeing feeling that this is their war is it you know are they are they excited by it or are they feeling that they're being bullied into doing it and also of course as i said how many men are we talking about in total uh, we are uh, we are talking about uh, sixty two thousand uh, men um, an army corps uh, made by constituted by three division uh, and uh, an artillery uh, group um, and more uh, there was also an, uh, an a black shirts uh, legion right. um, and uh, and the uh, service and engineer and so on. Um, uh, Italians uh, weren't uh, so happy to, to 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 be in war, to be at war. No, not at all. Uh, when uh, in uh, in the World War One, uh, Italian Italian uh, volunteer uh, uh, in Italian uh, troops go, go to the front, uh, whistling and uh, and uh, singing. Uh, it's, it's not the same thing in the, in the Second World War. It was, uh, they, we don't know why uh, our country was uh, at war. Uh, the, the, the picture of, and the, the, the film that, mo that show Mussolini at, uh, from the balcony of Palazzo Venezia uh, address the people uh, and uh, say we are at war and uh, the people cheering, the people are wanting to destroy the enemy, a eh? um, false perspective. Uh, the, the Italian people um, didn't want the war, and uh, no, the war was never filled uh, as a, in, uh, uh, a, a decisive uh, point of uh, for, for the nation, for for, for the country. Right. Um, 
the fascism uh, for 20 years uh, uh, tried to uh, make uh, the Italian people a warrior people, but uh, only from uh, uh, it was only appearance. It was only um, because uh, uh, Mussolini uh, wanted the the the, peop the, 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 the troops uh, uh, parading at uh, the, the 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 goose steps uh, uh, or. Uh, uh, dashing the the knife, or uh, but it was only uh, appearance. It was not uh, a, a real uh, understanding of the the, the modern warfare uh, was. Uh, so we have uh, an, an army that was uh, uh, yet at uh, the battle in the Carso in the first uh, in the first world war uh, with the uh, infantry uh, with the good capacity to dig in to to entrench uh, but uh, and and using artillery but we have uh, no tanks at all we have uh, we are not prepared for them for a warfare for a warfare with uh, the movement was uh, uh, the, the the main uh, the, the main trust of the, the of, uh, of a battle of of, of a campaign uh, so uh, it's strange to 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 send an army corps in uh, in, the, in the eastern front, a, a very huge front, a front where uh, the movement is the is the, the, the first uh, uh, condition to to understand, uh, and uh, we, we send the troops with uh, uh, not uh, uh, not motorized. Uh, 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 when uh, uh, we have two infantry division uh, and a celery division, celery it means fast division. Right, because yeah. fast because it was a, a division uh, constituted by the Bersaglieri regiment that, that was motorized and uh, two uh, cavalry, uh, horse uh, cavalry, uh, two mounted uh, regiments and. Um, and, and, and a, a, with battalion of a bike and uh, bicycles, uh, so fast was uh, because they 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 don't they didn't go walking. Yeah. Um, and was... just to, to, to ask a question, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase Amnuk's uh, question there. Well, obviously Mussolini was aware about Barbarossa to get the core the, the core there, but. I don't expect that he has much input into which part of the Barbarossa front his his corps are sent. That was all decided by the German commanders. Because with for those who don't know, Barbarossa extends from from the, uh, the the Baltic in the north right the way down to just north of of the Mediterranean. It's a massive, great front of hundreds and hundreds of miles. It's a, it's huge. So, was there any input about where the Italians were going to go? Did they give advice? Did they say, look, we're we're best suited to this terrain or you should use us here or were they just told exactly where to go okay mussolini uh, knows about uh, barbarossa at uh, 30 of may right um, and uh, when he uh, soon as he knows about barbarossa he, he write to to hitler to 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 have the permit to uh, deploy an army corps uh, at first, he, he thought uh, that uh, uh, to to him to, to the um, to send in Russia the Grenadiers Division uh, that was uh, there in uh, Zagreb area uh, with a, a motorized uh, division. But uh, um, uh, Rommel, that, uh, that was in charge in, uh, in the North African theater. Uh, um, say that uh, the motorized division uh, are uh, terrible needed in uh, in that uh, in that uh, operation area. So uh, uh, Mussolini uh, uh, at last uh, had to deploy this uh, um, auto transportable. That uh, that means that uh, if uh, this uh, poor uh, infantry uh, had to to to, to find a, a track, they were very glad to to step on board uh, and go to the front but uh, right. uh, without the tracks they go walking uh, to the front um uh, they the italian the xir was uh, sent to the the southern area of the the barbarossa uh, operation uh, not uh, the, the 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 southern but uh, in the in the area of uh, uh, ukraine ukraine area 
and uh, it was uh, uh, initially was uh, um, under the command of the um, uh, 17th Army, German Army. And uh, after the, the, the first uh, three months of operation, uh, the, the, the Italian Dexir was uh, under the command of the first Panzer Army of von Kleist. Um, because uh, uh, was the von Kleist in, uh, personally to, to want the Dexir uh, with him, because uh, uh, um, surprising, uh, the, the, the first three months of operation was uh, uh, a, a victory after a victory for Italian yeah. in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the southern front. Uh, so, uh, and uh, uh, above all, it was a, a mobile victory because uh, um, we have two encirclement and uh, two uh, victory uh, fights uh, around uh, Petrokovka and uh, in, the, in, the, in the area of the, the basin of the, the, the Donets. Right. Um, in, a, in a, so uh, German uh, generals was impressed by the the results of the, this uh, uh, undervalued troops because uh, they they think they are Italians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, they in the first part of the army want uh, the Xir uh, under his uh, command. Um, and the, 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 the battle, uh, the 1941 Christmas battle, uh, was uh, during the, 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 the Xira under the command of the 1st Panzer Army. So, so just to recap there for those who are following, so that they've had the first three months of Barbarossa. Barbarossa, the Italians do very well, they advance, they're, they're, they're performing very well to the extent that the Germans actually are going, hang on, these guys are pretty damn good. They also have a good commander. You said that right at the beginning because your studies started so again we're talking this week from a british point of view and an english language point of view we often think of italian commanders as being a bit hopeless not very good not as good as their their opponents not as good as their german um uh, comrades but your your this general here was very good so so what what let talk talk about this talk about the general <laughs> Okay, now I, I think this is uh, the, 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 the decisive key of, uh, of this uh, well uh, performance in the, in, the, in the battlefield. Because uh, um, we have uh, a terrible officer class, uh, very, very terrible. Uh, they were, they were uh, ill prepared, they were uh, 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 despotic, they were. Uh, it's, it sounds strange to say, but uh, it was a, a sort of apartheid from uh, the officer class and their troops. Uh, Officers don't want to, to melt with, uh, with, with, uh, with soldiers. Uh, Officers have their mess. Officers have the personal attendant that uh, uh, wash and uh, uh, knitting for, for, for them. Uh, in the in, uh, I once I, I read a, a report by an, um, a New Zealander uh, sniper in Alame during the Battle of El Alamein, and he say it's very it's very easy for me to uh, to find Italian officers because they are uh, they gesticulate. Uh, <laughs> And they um, they uh, they are uh, wear they wear uh, wonderful uniforms, uh, and they they take care to have this uh, wonderful uniform. They, they take care to to do, to distinct from uh, from from, the from, from their troops. Uh, so it's uh, an easy uh, an easy target for me. Uh, it's not uh, so easy with uh, with Germans. Uh, so it, it's true. So it's true. Uh, uh, Italian officer was very bad. Was very bad for uh, for uh, in in uh, in, uh, in the, in the um, re relative to uh, the the rapper with with the, with the, the troops. The, with, uh, the art of command uh, no, not was not 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 uh, well <laughs> at all. Um, they were well not prepared at all for a modern warfare. Uh, they they think that uh, that the battle was uh, had to uh, to fight the battle with only artillery uh, and uh, uh, the the infantry that advance uh, 
uh, and uh, conquest uh, enemy position only with their uh, uh, the number of the troops. Right. Uh, and there were no tactical uh, solutions like uh, um, fire and run, fire uh, and uh, and stop. Uh, uh, there were no uh, at all uh, maneuver, uh, no maneuver, not uh, try to outflank the, the enemy, no, at all. Uh, the, 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 the advance is uh, straightforward. Uh, um, one, one another uh, funny, uh, sadly funny uh, report was from uh, a South African uh, officer um uh, it was in kenya uh during the the, the, the combat in the in the, uh, or, uh east african yeah. uh, and uh, he say uh, watching uh, italian uh, infantry crossing a uh, 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 wadi crossing a, a, a river a little river I say the, but they they are also the the, the italian of the uh, 19th century, uh, because uh, it's sadly true, we have not uh, tactical uh, uh, solution uh, for for um, for the for a warfare like would those of the Second so, World War. So, so elsewhere, Italian generals no fire maneuver; they just go bluntly towards the enemy, like they were done in 19th century. But mess here is something different. We've already had some comments in the sidebar. Neil Lawrence, my old mate from. For me, Stanga saying he was a realist. He understood fully the limitations of what Italian forces yeah. could achieve. And I think it was um, someone said he was very good. Oh, it was it was it was Julio said he knew how to handle logistics. Now, yeah, if you know how to stand out, oh, oh, you said he he's good at keeping connected with the men. He's one of the men. He's not he's not separate. He's not aloof. He's loved by his men. So it seems to me. If one of the, the first uh, goal, one of the first aim of um, Giovanni Messi was to take care of his soldier. Uh, and uh, he wants that they, they have the true, 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 um, the, the lunch and the, and the dinner. He wants to, and the, and the, um, the food was the app to be uh, hot, not cold. Yeah. Keep, uh, always cold move, food. yeah, fire and maneuver, keep your logistics and, 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 and be in contact with your men. It sounds, uh, Sounds a perfect recipe to me. So let's talk about this. Is the advance you're talking about, which which was, which is pretty amazing. You know, that you, we can follow the arrows across there. This is this is the this is the advance of the of the CSIR. So the, these are the first three months. Things are going very well. Um, obviously, we all know watching this that Barbarossa starts running into problems from north to south. October is kind of the critical time. It's sometimes it's because the the winter, the first winter snow comes, then it melts, it turns the roads to the mud, and all along the front, some of the gains that they're taking are starting to slow down. They're, they're getting stuck towards Leningrad, they're getting stuck towards Moscow. So what was happening in the Italian sector at this point when we get to kind of the end of the end of autumn? So sort of October, November, leading into December, what 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 was going wrong, or what was going well, and what was going wrong? Okay, the 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 the, the main obstacle of for uh, for Xir was the the, the what the, the Russian uh, called uh, Rasputitsa. Yeah. Uh, okay, the mud, uh, the mud was terrible, uh, and they start in uh, at the end of the October uh, until uh, the, the 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 end of uh, November uh, was the, the 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 main obstacle. Uh, at the end of the November, it starts with the the, the, the snow uh, and and, uh, and uh, the freeze ground, uh, and ob obviously with the terrible uh, weather and temperature uh, very low, very low. Um, uh, but uh, we have uh, another problem. Um, uh, as uh, I said uh, to you uh, before, uh, we have tracks only for one uh, infantry division. Okay, so when uh, the in the area of Stefanesti uh, and in the old, in the actual actual in uh, Romania, uh, uh, when uh, the, the 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 rally point of uh, of the Xir uh, to start the the the, the advance in in the, in the Russian uh, country. Uh, uh, Messe uh, chose to uh, 
to, to, to give the all the, the the tracks to one of the, of his division, the the right. Pazubio division. Okay. Um, when in the you say uh, after uh, the the Pazubio reached the front line, uh, uh, all the trucks uh, came back and uh, go to uh, load the, the the Torino division. But uh, immediately there was a, <laughs> a problem because uh, uh, the German called for an aid uh, Pazubio division. So the Pazubio need the, the trucks to to hide uh, the a German army corps that need uh, uh, an aid for a, 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 a Soviet uh, offensive. Uh, so the Torino division had to go walking uh, again and again and again. At last, the Torino division uh, go walking for uh, uh, 1,000 kilometers. Uh, there, there is a legend in Italy that uh, we we send the, the troops in uh, in Russia with the, uh, uh, with the, the shows of uh, pressed uh, uh, paper <laughs> because uh, the, they were uh, they they destroyed they they, would, they, they were exploded uh, at the end of a simple march, but. Uh, this, this is a legend. This is it's not true because uh, uh, the the, infant, the the Torino division uh, soldiers uh, they have to to march for uh, uh, one thousand uh, and uh, two uh, hundred kilometers. So at the end of uh, a similar march, uh, uh, anybody have uh, the sky, have the shows <laughs> in a, in a, in a bad condition. Yeah, if you're if you're marching that distance, doesn't matter how good your boots are. And you're marching through as we're talking about the, the 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 Russian mud and slush of October, your boots are going to be screwed at the end of it. Does it? That's just how it is. So, I mean, this this is already setting this up for 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 an epic confrontation because he's had to give his trucks from one division to the other. They're now having to walk uh, 900 miles, whatever it's going to be, towards the front. Winter is closing in all along the front. Uh, Barbarossa is is running out of steam, and and of course we we should be talking as well. All during this time, the Soviet Red Army is building up its reserves. It's it was rather rather surprised in June by the initial advances of Barbarossa, but there's what some fifty three Russian divisions and thirteen thousand tanks or something that were that were there in place behind Barbarossa. So they're getting better at, at, at dealing with the advances now. So this is bringing us up to the first phase of the Christmas battle. So um. Run us through how 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 the sides are deployed for, for this for this confrontation we're going to talk about. Okay, um, we uh, we're talking about uh, uh, a deployment that uh, 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 the, 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 that came from uh, came after a, a long march. Yep. They came after the the Italian supply line are overstretched. Uh, that came after our logistic is uh, in an uh, small, it is in the uh, uh, So uh, we have to stay, we have to dig in, we have to to stop. Uh, in 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 the city of Rikovo, the Xir uh, stopped. The the frozen ground uh, and the, the severe weather conditions doesn't permit uh, a further advance. So uh, we have to to, to stop. Um, in the, the same time, there is uh, at north there is the, the battle for Moscow, uh, yeah. and uh, the Xir have to uh, attend the, 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 the to, to 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 wait for the the the, the exit of uh, the, of, uh, of the, this huge battle. Um, Messe uh, deployed is uh, the entire uh, Xir uh, along uh, this line. Um, uh, focuses on the the, the 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 little town of Rikovo. Uh, from the north, uh, on the the, the left uh, wing of the, the Italian uh, deployment was the Pazubio division. Uh, around the Ricovo town, the, the, was the, the Torino division, and the, the right wing of the, the of the Italians was uh, uh, manned by the Celere uh, division, uh, so the fast uh, division. That was uh, the um, the division uh, with uh, um, not so much infantry. 
So Miss uh, uh, send uh, in aid uh, to the first division the uh, Black Shirts Legion Tagliamento. Uh, black Shirts uh, are uh, the, the fascist militia uh, um, was made up from uh, uh, volunteers uh and uh, um they were uh, they, they they trained to the to the war in the in in the weekend <laughs> fundamentally yeah. and uh, uh they are uh, uh you know in a range of uh, of years from uh 24 25 to uh 40 years uh old um and they they have no uh, uh, heavy weapons, uh, only light uh, weapons. Uh, so uh, the army was uh, uh, the army uh, sent a, a um, an accompanying weapons uh, battalion to uh, to improve the the, the, the firepower of uh, the Black Shirts Legion. Uh, Black Shirts Legion had uh, only two battalions. Um, they uh, have a, a local recruitment. Uh, so the one of the battalions came from the city of Udine in uh, Friuli, in the northeast of Italy. And the other battalion came from Reggio Emilia uh, in, uh, in, in the center of, uh, of Italy. But uh, the, all of these... Um, People from these two towns are famous, are well known for their um, uh, for quality that uh, was a similar to those of the the British Expeditionary Force in uh, Mons in 1914, uh, the okay. old Contemptibles. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, uh, they're, they're all from the same villages and town, and they they know each other, and they've got that spirit of of the pals battalions we call it in england because they're all they're all pals they're all friends essentially uh, so they are um, well known for their uh, contemptibility <laughs> and they were uh, another nickname was uh, for the for irajani was uh, uh, square headed uh, teste quadre uh, and so it was not so um, so simple to 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 have uh, uh, to have to, to fight against uh, this type of uh, people. Uh, they were uh, uh, the hot head. They were uh, uh, people that like to, uh, to 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 box. The people they like to to have a physical confrontation. Yeah. Um, and uh, also during the uh, military. Uh, uh, Career they would do their military um, service. Uh, they showed the, the same quality in uh, in the battle. So uh, um, the Stavka uh, think that uh, to, uh, also to diverge uh, the, the the German army attention from uh, the Moscow area uh, to the southern sector of the the, the Barbarossa operation. Uh, think to uh, to launch a, a, a diversionary offensive operation against uh, the Ricovo area uh, uh, because it was the uh, the, the in, in area where uh, they know the there were the Italians and they think the Italians are the weakest spot of the the, yeah. the front line uh, from uh, from north and to south. Uh, a, a, Il, uh, and um, um, it, uh, it was the uh, another thing important uh, that uh, Soviet uh, thinkers, military thinkers, uh, uh, supposed to, to 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 aid them was that uh, was the Christmas Eve. So uh, Italians are very. Sin uh, <laughs> um, uh, is 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 a is a holiday uh, is a, is a festivity that uh, uh, an Italian uh, uh, feel uh, uh, much more than uh, Nordic people, yeah. uh, and uh, in uh, in that occasion in that occasion they they think the Italian were all uh, uh, attending the the, the 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 Christmas celebrations. Um, uh, 
another uh, uh, chance for uh, big chance for for Russian to to get the breakthrough uh, in the the Italian lines was that uh, uh, there was a, a, a sense a snowstorm in uh, in the area and uh, uh, there was a temp- very low uh, temperature. Uh, and so they think that uh, people came from Mediterranean area uh, doesn't tolerate uh, uh, similar uh, weather conditions. Right. So, so, so let's, uh, let, let's let's recap, Andrea. So massive, great logistics problem. They've marched hundreds of miles. It's Christmas uh, or Christmas Eve. The Russians think it's the low point of the front anyway. There's now a really low temperature, so they think all the Italians are going to be not wanting to play in the snow, and they also think they're going to be celebrating Christmas. So th- th- these yeah. are the ingredients that the Soviets are using to launch an, a, a counteroffensive now. And I suppose we must address the fact that Soviet or Red Army confidence is starting to build now. Operation Typhoon, the German attack on Moscow, has has just about failed by now. Uh, if it hasn't already, well, no, it has failed by now. Uh, the Leningrad siege is is underway. Um, so the German the Germans are losing, beginning to lose their 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 advantage. And as each day passes, the Soviets are are gaining confidence. I guess so. This is all set up for this 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 battle here. Um, you you've supplied a, a few photos that give us an idea of the condition. There aren't many photos out there, folks, because it's not one of the battles that seem to have many people there photographing it, but. They do convey um, the rather um, not brilliant defenses these Italians are behind. Particularly, it's not you know <laughs> a few rocks and a few a few clumps of snow. Um, we've already had the point from Trent Tolenko, Andrea, that the the Italian anti tank guns were were not very good, uh, especially no. when it's T thirty fours coming towards you. So. Um, I guess you'll touch on that later on. But anything you want to say about these photos while we have them on screen? Anything in there that you think you should point out for us? Okay. Um, uh, the, 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 our strongholds in the, in the area of Rock Rico was uh, very poor. was very right. poor because uh, there is no time to make a uh, uh, camp fortification. fortification. There is an, in the, 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 the ground was very froze. Yeah, it's uh, hard anyway. You can't dig. Yeah. So, uh, miss, uh, decide to, uh, um, to, uh, use the, uh, in, in uh, center, uh, uh, the, the buildings as, uh, the day of uh, the, the Italian fortification. Uh, the, or uh, all the village or the the little uh, uh, buildings uh, uh, just like the isba no the, the, the typical uh, russian com- uh, countryside building uh, were fortified and, uh, and similar uh, s- um, stone uh, uh, and uh, were, uh, were were constructed were uh, prepared and uh, uh, it, so when uh, the, the, the the Soviets launched their counter the the, the attack uh, uh, Italian wasn't so uh, well prepared to to receive and to repel uh, the, 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 the the attack um, we have to uh, uh, there was another problem for Italian that uh, uh, we have no uh, re- tactical reserve at all. Right. Okay. Nothing, because uh, all the, the troops are in the in the along the the, the front line along uh, uh, the the uh, the strongholds. Uh, any any strong every strongholds was uh, um, fulfilled with. Uh, uh, a, a company level or a battalion level uh, infantry uh, unit and uh, a, a battery of artillery. Uh, right. There was also um, a box for uh, machine guns and a box for uh, 47 uh, 32 uh, millimeters uh, anti tank gun that was the, the main Italian anti tank gun that was totally useless against. Uh, T thirty four. Yeah, uh, it, it could it could knock armored cars, uh, but yeah, uh, um, for heavy, heavy heavy tanks, it can also uh, challenge uh, uh, light tanks like the the T twenty six or the BT one. 
um, uh, um, uh, Messe was lucky because in this area uh, uh, there wasn't a uh, there wasn't a, a tank corps uh, right. uh, with the T thirty four tanks. Uh, there was only a regiment of light tanks. So uh, and uh, and uh, and Blindo and uh, um, armored uh, reconnaissance uh, cars. Uh, so uh, there was uh, not uh, not the, this uh, this uh, threat to, to the Italian uh, lines. What's um, what's the state of uh, with air power? Have either side got any air support? Yeah, uh, the Xir had uh, 100 uh, aircraft at uh, their dispositions, uh, but it was uh, not it, it, the, 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 the Xir aviation uh, uh, did not intervene in, uh, in, the, um, in the Christmas battle because of the severe uh, weather conditions. Couldn't take off, uh, too bad weather. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, I and uh, there were three types of aircraft. Uh, um, fighters, uh, Maki MC uh, 200, um, light uh, uh, bombers or uh, reconnaissance uh, aircraft, uh, Caproni uh, uh, G111, uh, one, one, one. and uh, the transport uh, aircraft, uh, Savoia Marchetti SM81. Uh, Three types of aircraft was the the Xir aviation. Right. Um, uh, Germans, uh, the 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 Abwehr, uh, the, the, uh, the army intelligence uh, sp spotted the, the 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 Russians, the troops gather uh, gatherings, and uh, prepare a little uh, uh, force uh, to, to counterattack to to use right. like a tactical reserve. Uh, this little force uh, uh, that in uh, in the maps we see uh, at, the, at the bottom of the, 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 the uh, with the, in uh, green uh, was made by the, by uh, uh, an infantry regiment uh, a, um, a Falschmir Jäger uh, right. march battalion reinforced. Uh, and uh, uh, three um, Panzer battalions uh, uh, sent by three different uh, Panzer division. Uh, they totally uh, uh, seventy-five uh, um, Panzer two, Panzer three, and Panzer four. Um, but uh, 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 and at the Christmas Eve, uh, the the German. Uh, uh, were uh, uh, far from uh, to, to be ready to to, help, uh, yeah. to, to, to react against the the, the, the attack. So, so, so we can the, see on the map there. We can see the movements of of, of the Red Army there in so in red. So run through the first phase of this battle then. So we, we, you know, the Italians are strung out. They haven't got much in the way of anti tank, although there aren't many tanks coming towards them. Uh, they've used. The, the fortifications made out of houses and farm walls, things like that, to make to make a defense. They're not particularly equipped for the cold, uh, and the and the Soviets believe that it's the weak weak point of the battle. So so what happened? Uh, <clears throat> Oh, uh, the, uh, the 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 initial uh, uh, attack was. Uh, um, uh, had to start at the C, uh, 6 a.m. Uh, of the Christmas Eve. Uh, and um, in, in Italian patrol from uh, uh, Black Shirts uh, uh, Legion uh, spotted a long, uh, long line of uh, white ghosts <laughs> because the, 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 the Russian infantry had a mimetic camouflage. Uh, yeah. And uh, they, uh, uh, they, as soon as possible, they uh, return to the airlines to to give the alarm uh, for for for, uh, for the arrival of the the, the, the Soviet troops, um, because uh, the, the Stavka gave did gave the order that there was uh, uh, not uh, or oh, uh, very few, uh, very little um, artillery uh, barrage uh, before the attack. Um, uh, 
to, to, to achieve uh, the surprise uh, effect. Um, and, uh, and they achieved uh, the, this, uh, the, this surprise effect uh, because the first, true, the first three uh, strongholds of, uh, uh, the, of the Italian, so, um, Novorlovka, uh, Petropavlovka, and uh, Ivanovsky, uh were uh, overwhelmed and, uh, and they have to re to retreat in uh, ivanovsky there was a uh, uh, um, uh, 18th battalion of uh, the third regime bersaglieri regiment uh, bersaglieri was the, the the elite infantry of, uh, of the italian army they were the the, the mobile infantry of the, the italian because uh, they have, they they were motorized. They have uh, troops. They, they they go with bike or with the light tanks. Um, in Ivanovsky, the 18th Battalion was surrounded for uh, 12 hours, but they 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 fight. For, they 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 never choose to to fight. And uh, after 12 uh, hours of uh, fighting. They have uh, also the 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 the, the strength to uh, 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 to get a breakthrough uh, in the, in the, the, the Soviet line uh, to reach uh, the, um, the another Italian strong gold of Mikhailovka. Uh, so uh, so uh, this uh, sturdy uh, defense from uh, um, from Bersaglieri. Uh, slowed, did slow the, the, the advance of, uh, of uh, Soviet troops. Uh, we have to, to consider that uh, Soviet troops were not uh, uh, um, uh, shock troops or uh, veteran or yeah. uh, uh, battle armed uh, uh, troops. Because uh, these uh, divisions, the division involved in, in this battle was the division that uh, was. Uh, uh, that were new, new, new at all, because uh, after the the severe losses in, in the, the summer of 1941, uh, a lot of division were reconstitu reconstituted or uh, were created, uh, and uh, this division was uh, were created uh, around a bulk of uh, uh, veteran or. Uh, uh, one of these divisions, the 74 uh, Infantry Division, was uh, created around uh, 1,000 NKVD uh, troops. Right. Uh, so, uh, inner security troops. Uh, uh, another division was uh, made from um, uh, um, older uh, reservists. Right. Uh, uh, the cavalry division, the, there were two cavalry divisions in the, the Soviet uh, efforts, uh, the 68 and uh, uh, 35. The cavalry division was uh, the new type of uh, cavalry division uh, because the, the, the huge losses in the, 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 during the, the, the summer, uh, the, the strength of the normal uh, cavalry division was uh, uh, reducted to from uh, uh, 90,000 uh, personnel to 4,000 personnel. Uh, so, uh, cavalry division now are brigade, the cavalry brigade, <laughs> uh, not division. Um, uh, here, so the are mounted cavalry, uh, not uh, armored, not. Uh, uh, the, the new type of cavalry uh, that uh, uh, the staff cavalry prepared uh, for uh, the uh, the new year uh, uh, campaigns um, because uh, uh, horses uh, are uh, useful uh, in uh, in uh, in a plain uh, theater of, uh, of uh, in, a, in a battlefield plain in a battlefield where uh, severe conditions of uh, weather uh, uh, are, are are important and uh, Germans uh, uh, um, uh, did learn uh, this from uh, during the Battle of Moscow and uh, in 1942 they 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 they, they start to uh, in, uh, uh, 
much more cavalry in uh, horse cavalry in uh, in their uh, military instrument uh, not uh, only panzer but o- also horses yeah. because uh, the eastern front was uh, needed uh, this type of uh, unit uh, mainly for scouting mainly for uh, because uh, there were uh, um, entire uh, portion of a countryside like in uh, Pripyat uh, marsh uh, where uh, the, the the horses are very useful yeah um, the other uh, Soviet uh, infantry division uh, were uh, uh, from a very, very young uh, reservist. So uh, non- the Italians were lucky to not, uh, uh, to not challenge uh, uh, the, the, the best uh, the, the shock uh, troops that the German uh, encountered in, uh, in, the, in the, the, the Moscow area. Uh, or, the, the, or the division that um, came from uh, uh, the uh, Mongolia, from the Mongol uh, sector, uh, with uh, the uh, these uh, the, um, warriors that came from Genghis Khan and and, and this uh, cultural tradition of uh, of fight. Um, uh, at the at the evening of the the Christmas Day, uh, the Italian had uh, had lost uh, uh, have to left uh, three of the strongholds, uh, but uh, in other uh, two uh, strongholds, uh, the the, um, uh, the the Soviet attack was totally repelled, uh, just like a Rapsip, Rapsipnaya, where there is a, sta- a train station and uh, um, uh, stopped call uh, there the the the, the 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 russian troops were uh, uh, get uh, a, a, a harsh uh, uh, lessons from the, the from the italian defense um, at the end of the day uh, messe uh, start to uh, um, set up uh, a counter offensive. Uh, the, the the first uh, phase of the the counter offensive was was uh, um, was made by uh, the, the same troops that have to left the strongholds uh, they have to retreat uh, and was uh, beaten by the the the, 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 the Soviet trust. Um, and then uh, it was not lucky this uh, this tentative. Um, uh, the next day, uh, the twenty sixth of December, the Boxing Day, you know, in uh, in England, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, Boxing indeed. Yeah, yeah. And the Boxing Day, um, uh, German uh, reinforcement uh, arrived in the in the area. Uh, the the infantry regiment uh, attack uh, to uh, Petro Pavlovka and Ivanovsky. Uh, Petro Pavlovka, the, the German uh, one battalion of German infantry and uh, uh, twenty Panzer uh, uh, were uh, defeated and they have they have to retreat. But uh, Ivanovsky, uh, Italian and German troops uh, retake the strongholds. So the same was for uh, Malovlovka, uh, where uh, Division Torino and Division Pasubio tried to uh, outflank the uh, the uh, Soviet uh, main thrust uh, towards the the the, the Celere division. Um, at the end of the Boxing Day, uh, where after a day that was planned, uh, where there were a lot of uh, assault, uh, counter assault, and there was uh, uh, a lot of uh, killed in action uh, in both uh, the, 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 the army, um, Messe decided to, uh, to try to uh, outflank the, the, the the, the main uh, uh, Soviet attack uh, using the, the two infantry division that uh, are uh, in uh, in, the, in the, the upper part of our map, Division Pasubio and Division Torino, uh, making advance uh, uh, to east uh, to these two division, 
uh, Soviet troop uh, uh, did fear to 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 be surrounded, and so they have to retreat. Uh, and uh, uh, the Italian and the German uh, advance in the Celere uh, division uh, uh, could uh, retake all the the the, the, the position left and in the, in the, in the, the the years in the, in the, in the two days uh, before. Um, but uh, they arrive in the area of uh, an, a fresh uh, Soviet regiment. Uh, the 662 regiment uh, um, making a, a, a counterattack against the Italians was as uh, uh, it was uh, decisive because uh, uh, Italian army uh, understand that they have no more strength they have no more chance to uh, to get uh, uh, another victory uh, so Messe uh, take the, the a good decision he, he chose to uh return to the the initial uh, str strongholds the, the initial uh deployment and uh, to uh, improve their defense in the, the same area where the, the battle starts right. uh, the german wants the, that the italians uh, did uh, uh, pursue uh, the, 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 the the retreating uh, russian but uh, Messe, uh, that was a, a man of war, was a man who uh, knows the, the necessity of the, the man. He was uh, one of the of, of his uh, uh, goal was to to take care of the, the wellness of, uh, of his uh, army. Uh, decided to stop. And there were no more uh, uh, chance to uh, to to have another victory for uh, for Dexir. So. Amazingly, the, 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 the Soviets attack a fortified position that they think isn't particularly strong. The Italians have marched all this way there, and yet within the early stage of the battle, they've managed to outflank the Soviet forces, push them back to where they started, and then Mess falls his men back to the original positions to, to, to re-fortify. So th this, is, this is going to help us English language historians kind of debunk this idea that all the Italians are good at is running away because they've held against uh, a numerically superior force coming towards them and they've turned it back and managed to uh, counterattack and push the, 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 the Red Army back further. So I'm beginning to understand, I wonder why we Westerners don't know more about this uh, because it seems really interesting to me. We had a question a minute ago, um, which you can ask, is about what happened to the uh, it, any Italian POWs taken by the Soviets, and also what happened to Red Army prisoners taken by the Italians. Because um, we have uh, ideas, you know, when we get to a year later after Stalingrad, what happened to the, prison, you know, the, the German prisoners taken by the Soviets there. But what ha what what happens in this battle? Is there is there is there um, a, a bit of chivalry shown by both sides, or are, are there are the prisoners treated badly? Okay, in this battle, <clears throat> Italian take to uh, two thousand uh, prisoners, uh, Russian prisoners. Uh, all these uh, prisoners uh, was sent to German uh, uh, international uh, uh, to German camp. Uh, concentration camp uh, because Italians they have no uh, the the strength they have no um, uh, the the capacity to uh, control a huge mass of prisoners just like the the the, the, the German uh, Italian uh, prisoners uh, uh, in this battle there were uh, 200 uh, missing in action for for for, for the Italians uh, most of all the, we suppose uh, they, they were prisoners. Uh, of war, uh, uh, this uh, the, the prisoner was uh, uh, was sent to uh, camp uh, Gulag uh, in uh, in the, the Ural area, uh, and uh, they was they was uh, uh, much more lucky than uh, the, the the man was uh, uh, captured was was interned by after the the Stalingrad battle uh, because uh, in. in they 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 did uh, uh, challenge uh, the, the 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 march of the deaths uh, 
to the, the very very fast uh, camp in uh, here the, the Italian soldiers uh, uh, the prisoners don't uh, uh, go to the, the, the their uh, final camp in uh, by train uh, not by by, by, by feet well wow. Um, and Damien just added the comment that in his calculations, in some areas of the front, there was only one Italian soldier every 100 meters, which is, I mean, that's yeah. astonishing. I mean, that, you know, you would normally spread a, a platoon over 100 meters, maybe a, a company over a couple hundred. One soldier in, in, in 100 meters. Yeah. Is it fair to say that this Italian corps out? performed what was expected of them uh in um during messe uh, calculated the, the in uh, the deployment and uh, uh the, the christmas battle was uh, uh manned by only two battalions two infantry battalions and uh, uh four um, artillery group four in a, in a, in a line that uh, lasted uh, 20 kilometers uh, are um, very few um, troops, very few, uh, uh, and uh, without uh, uh, huge uh, fortification. Uh, it was a, a miracle. No, I don't know if it was a miracle. The, 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 this, this battle, I, I'm going to to think that uh, uh, Messe was a, a, a valid and a capable uh, officer. And uh, uh, the, the, the men that served under Messe uh, uh, did fight uh, well, um, much more uh, well than uh, the, the, the soldiers that fight under uh, other gener Italian generals, just like uh, uh, Graziani or, or Roatta. Or, um, I think it is uh, um, the, the decisive point. The key uh, is uh, in uh, in the art of the command. Mm. No, definitely. Um, we've just got a point there again from Damien, who's saying that people always talk about the Africa Corps being sent into North Africa to save the Italians. Well, the Italians sent more soldiers and material to Russia than the Germans did to Africa. So that that's that's correct. An interesting correct. numerical <laughs> statistic. There is that. Yeah, the focus on the Germans being sent to Africa, they, uh, they, they sent less than Italians had there. I know we could talk about what happens to Italians after this battle at some point in the future, because the, the Eastern Front continues for another uh, 18 months, two years of misery out there. But, but assuming we're going to invite you back at some point to come and talk about one of the next battles, in summary... Uh, what 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 does the next sort of year roughly bring for the for the core? Uh, in the, the the next year, the ninety forty two for the for the for the next year was another years of victory. Uh, someone uh, calculated that uh, the the next year was the the best Italian uh, uh, military formation of uh, of any time because uh, uh, in two years of uh, battle. Uh, he had uh, seven major victories uh, and only two uh, setback, uh, two uh, minor the defeat. Uh, and uh, when uh, the, 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 the mix uh, left the, the, the Eastern Front, the, the, the Xir was renominated 25 corps, army corps, and right. was uh, melted down in, inside the, 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 the Italian 8th Army. Uh, Messe uh, said to Mussolini not to. Uh, the, the, there was a big mistake to create uh, uh, the, the Eighth Army because uh, uh, all these troops. Uh, uh, we are talking about two uh, two thousand uh, uh, an army an army of uh, two hundred thousand uh, uh, people. Um, uh, with the necessity of uh, 200,000 uh, uh, people uh, 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 wearing the, the, uh, the uniforms, uh, uh, needing uh, food, uh, uh, trucks, uh, uh, munitions. Uh, uh, and uh, 
Messe uh, was uh, uh, well uh, aware of this uh, uh, situation and uh, he said to Mussolini that it is a big mistake to, to send uh, another, uh, 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 another divisions and army corps in Russia. Uh, army corps and division that was much more needed in the in uh, northern Africa, uh, in the, in uh, where uh, the, the 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 war against uh, uh, the, the British Eighth Army was uh, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at the stake. It was, uh, was uh, in, uh, in we are in ninety forty two. We are uh, at the the El Alamein, the three battles of El Alamein. And then uh, immediately before the, the, the Gazala battle and uh, the Toburk, uh, the Crusader, the Operation Crusader, yeah. uh, at the end of the 1941. So uh, it was a, a period in cui, uh, where uh, Italian uh, uh, trucks, Italian tanks, Italian uh, guns uh, was much more use, useful in, uh, in Northern uh, Africa than in, uh, in the Eastern Front where uh, a small uh, army tank uh, in a small army corps uh, the xir uh, get a, a, a huge uh, uh, victories uh, sur surprising uh, surprising also the the their allies the german and you know for what the other next question is is well i've got a couple of questions from the audience there is that what why do we western Westerners, why haven't we heard of this guy? Because he goes, you said there, he goes onto the Western Desert after this and Tunisia. He's made full marshal in the Italian army, if I remember correctly. So he, he's 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 celebrated as being a very good commander. Why, why doesn't he come in the list of, when we talk about good generals from World War II, why do we not include him? Uh, I don't well, know I say why. we, I mean because, English uh, language, sorry. Because... Uh, uh... The, the the English of the the World War II uh, consider Messer the best Italian general uh, because uh, at the end of the African campaign uh, when uh, uh, Tunisia fell, um, Messer was uh, made prisoner and uh, he was uh, then the, the the officer in charge of the uh, first Italian army uh, and they. Uh, he directed the, the battle of uh, Maret Line and uh, Kasserine and uh, yeah. other battle. Uh, who, who, uh, Montgomery uh, uh, think that the, the, the officer in charge was uh, <laughs> again Rommel, but uh, he was uh, he was uh, he, he didn't know that the the, the, the the new commander was uh, Giovanni Messe. And yeah. uh, when uh, uh, the, the, after the armistice of 8 September 1943, uh, he, uh, when uh, was created the, the co-belligerent army, uh, the Italian co-belligerent army, uh, the English generals uh, and Alexander, uh, first of all, uh, uh, chose Messe, Giovanni Messe come the new chief of staff of the new Italian co-belligerent army. Yeah. So Messe have a, uh, is a singular, is an eccentric, uh, extraordinary uh, uh, general because he was uh, a man who uh, fight against Greece, against uh, uh, English, against American, against uh, Russian, and against G uh, German in the, the, the same war. Yeah, <laughs> uh, quite and, a uh, career, yes. <laughs> yes, quite a career. And uh, uh, another uh, uh, very surprise, uh, surprising uh, uh, thing about Messe was that uh, he, he arose a, a every rank in the army. He started like a simple soldier uh, and uh, he finished the like, uh, Maresciallo d'Italia, Field Marshal. Yeah. Uh, it's very strange. No other uh, gen Italian generals uh, had a similar career. He started like uh, he came from a very poor family of uh, a, a little town of, from southern Italy. Uh, and he, he goes to uh, he enrolled because uh, the family needs money. Uh, um, after uh, uh, two years, uh, he was promoted uh, corporal and uh, almost immediately the sergeant. And uh, and then uh, he was uh, uh, decorated during the. Uh, the Italian invasion of Libya in 1911. Uh, in, the, in the Great War, uh, he was uh, a young officer, uh, first lieutenant, uh, 
and uh, he uh, volunteered for uh, uh, the Arditi. Uh, Arditi was the, the special troops, the, the, the shock troops uh, of Italian created after the debacle of uh, Caporetto. And um, Giovanni Messe uh, uh, is famous because uh, um, the, the most uh, important uh, victory uh, uh, achieved by the Arditi was the Colmoskin victory. Uh, now the, the Italian Special Force Regiment, uh, the 9th, uh, was the Colmoskin Regiment. Uh, and uh, Colmoskin was a victory uh, created by the, the genius of uh, Giovanni Messe, Major of Arditi, a commander of the 9 uh, Arditi uh, uh, Battalion. Uh, uh, at the end of the, 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 the Great War, uh, he arose on the, the, the rank and uh, he, he reached the, 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 the rank of uh, general. Uh, and uh, uh, as a general, he coordinated the invasion of Albania in uh, 1939. Uh, and uh, his first uh, uh, operative uh, uh, task was to uh, slow, uh, contain uh, the, the Greece advance in, uh, in, uh, in Epiro with the, the, the special uh, army corps. Uh, uh, and uh, so he, he had a, a very brilliant career. Yeah. Uh, and uh, all, all during the, all this career, also in uh, uh, during a fierce battle, just like uh, Colmoskin, he, he take a nice, he take a, he, uh, um, his, his mind open to uh, uh, to to understand new new role, new new model of warfare. So when uh, uh, the start of the war, he, he was uh, uh, one of the, the few Italian generals that uh, knew to uh, the, the, um, the 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 maneuver, they knew to the, the mobile warfare, yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, so uh, we can uh, he, he can achieve a similar uh, victories on the in the Eastern Front. So can, can we just or can you comment on the fact he was replaced in? The Eastern Front by Gary Baldy because I've read a couple of different things. Some imply it was it was removed because he wasn't very good, and some have implied he was removed because they want him to go to for, form the new uh, armored uh, unit in North Africa. So is it is it a punishment or is it reward? What's your comment on why he is replaced? <laughs> uh, well. Um... The Italian generals, you have considered that uh, uh, a casta, okay, uh, yeah. a, a group of uh, an inner group of uh, that uh, were very solid each other. It's uh, the class so, system again, yeah, yeah, yeah. class, yeah. Uh, so when uh, one of them fail, uh, the other uh, try uh, try to uh, to recover, try to. Uh, to I to 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 hinder the, his uh, uh, his mistakes uh, because it was a, a cast affair was a classes affair. Um, so Garibaldi was lucky to obtain a new important uh, uh, command, uh, even if he was uh, totally unprepared for this uh, type of command. Uh, Messe uh, was not uh, uh, considered for. Uh, uh, an army command level uh, because it was only an army corps general and uh, 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 he, 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 he criticized the, 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 the Mussolini decision to uh, uh, enlarge the, the Italian expeditionary yeah. corps in Russia. So he was, okay. uh, he was sent to Rome in, in the reserve. Okay, and the, one, the next question I've got, I'm trying to find it again. It's from Peter O'Connell. He's asking about, we're talking about the Eastern Front there rather than North Africa. Given all the logistics problems the Germans are handicapped by in this time of year, we're talking about the late part of 1941, how are the Italian supplies controlled? Are they controlling their own supplies or are they re reliant on the Germans? Um, how does it work in terms of priorities? Uh, mm. So and so, uh, uh, so um, a large uh, amount of uh, supply uh, was uh, uh, totally uh, managed by Italians, uh, with a system of trains from uh, Verona to Romania and then to Ukraine. Uh, these trains were Italian trains, 
uh, obviously not uh, all the logistical uh, um, necessity for the Italians was uh, can uh, are, are managed by the Italian logistical branch. Uh, um, uh, oil and uh, and other uh, um, primary resource was. Uh, uh came from uh, germany came from the allies okay. and uh food uh, and uh other uh fresh food was uh try to uh, recollect obviously in place uh, and, uh, and also in, in this case was a, a primary uh, german uh, uh task for for uh, to to to, okay. to to refurnish uh, to replenish italian storage and italian warehouse so I, I really enjoyed today's presentation. It's been really good. One last question for you, and it's kind of a broad one, really. But the, for those who are reading about the Eastern Front and who are beginning their journey, we've got books by the New Zealand historian David Stahl. There's um, um, uh, Prit Britar in Britain is writing some brilliant stuff about the, the Red Army and the battles out in the Russian Front. Are, are we missing out on understanding fully this part of the battle if we don't read about the Italian contribution because it seems to me I don't read about the Italians very often in the books because they're, they're simply not mentioned. So do you think we need to understand more about the Italian role here because of Messe's great, great, um, great leadership, if nothing else? Yes, uh, <clears throat> it's... Uh, um... I think uh, uh, it's crucial to understand the Italian uh, military effort because uh, uh, we see the, 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 the difference to, to have uh, a, a good uh, officer in charge and uh, without uh, this type of officer. Uh, Garibaldi was uh, ill-prepared and uh, uh, other generals uh, are uh, similar to, to Garibaldi. Uh, Everywhere, uh, in any type of situation, every front, uh, uh, you have to you have to to fight, mess, distinguish himself, and uh, so uh, it's clear that uh, if uh, we have uh, a um, a good general, we can bypass all the la the limits, all the the the, the, yeah. the problems, uh, all the weaknesses of the of our uh, military instrument, and and they were. A lot of they were a huge amount. Yeah, I mean, in, in, in a sense, women. the the Italian experience is is quite good at showing us what could have been achieved by the Germans in that in that period. Because both both the German side of things, the Soviet, they were sacking generals. I mean, the three or four German generals were sacked after Operation Typhoon, the attack on Moscow. The Soviets are sacking have been sacking generals earlier. This is the example of what a unit can do with good leadership, adapting to the conditions they've got, making the best of the equipment they've got, which wasn't ideal, using yeah. fire and maneuver, which you explained there, counterattacking against superior forces. It kind of shows us maybe that that, we think now that that end of 1941 period, the German army in Russia was just doomed. It was never gonna work. They, it's run out of energy, it's run out of steam, it's just gonna collapse, but this, the fact that, they, as you said, they carry on having victories for the next year, it, it maybe suggests that, that that rather than we seeing the Italians as secondary to the Germans, maybe the Germans should have looked a little bit more at what the Italians were achieving and borrowed some of the ideas for their own their own core because um, they outperformed, outgunned, and and uh, units with with well German units either side of them. So it's a, it's a really important lesson. So I think. I, well, again, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed listening to this, and, and people have enjoyed it. Neil Lawrence, my old friend in, in East Anglia, has enjoyed listening to it. So we're going to say to you, come back and talk about something else, um, because uh, there's more to there's more to understand with this with this experience there. But we will leave things thank you, thank you. to end now. Right. And I hope someone is watching this show who will put your books into English, because that was really, really <laughs> good. But I'll just remind people what we've got coming up tomorrow, and I'll come back and say goodbye in a second. So, folks... We have one more short show Italy in World War II week tomorrow when we're talking about the bombing of Italy. And uh, my guest, Claudia Baldoli, has studied England, taught in England. She wrote a really good book we'll talk about tomorrow about the bombing of France and the bombing of Italy. And I knew a little bit about the bombing of France because on account of I live there, but I have found out so much 
about the bombing of Italy. And I, I realized I didn't know very much about it. So that'll be a really good show. And then next week, it's Pearl Harbor week, which we've got some great presentations. I lined up Craig Simons, the American, brilliant American naval historian, who's going to come on and talk about the Battle of Coral Sea, which is the biggest battle that kind of follows Pearl Harbor. That'll be brilliant next week. I can't wait. And then it's Battle of Bulge. So lots of stuff coming up. As Laura Lai, one of our regular viewers, is saying, please consider becoming a patron. Please consider um, supporting us. If you, if you don't want to become a patron, you can become a member on the YouTube channel. Just click the links below and you can support by couple of euros or five euros a month and it all helps me consider making this my absolute full-time job as we go into the future because i want to keep on doing it because i absolutely love it but right now it remains me to say thank you very much to andrea for joining us and um good luck with all your research good luck with your thank you very much and i will be happy to extend an invitation for you to come back and talk about something else of your choice because we are learning so much and it's People have been very appreciative of the fact that, you know, you're doing this in your second language. You, you know, you're not doing it in <laughs> Italian. We're, we're, we're like sponges for this information because we don't know this stuff. We know Market Garden. We know Normandy. This is important stuff to understand. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank so you. So brilliant. Paul. So this is Paul Bernard from World War II TV saying I will see you all again tomorrow, 7 p.m. UK time to understand about the bombing of Italy. And it will be a really good show. And I can't wait to, to, to share it with you. So thanks, everybody. I will see you all again next time. Cheers. Bye.